Well, we're back again, boys and girls, and today is your lucky day. Today is glass day. I know that must make you excited. But there's a lot of folks here that have been asking about this unique shape to the front of the glass here on the, uh, on the Tesla Model Y. This is not unique, um, but, uh, but it's there for a bunch of different reasons. One is because we want to try and repel as much wind noise as possible. And by putting this below the hood, you don't get the turbulent noises that you'd normally get if the glass was a little bit higher. The second and more important reason is, is because this is where the, uh, the windshield wipers um, are parked, which keeps them, again, out of the, uh, out of the wind direction, lowers our, uh, uh, makes our, our car a little bit slippier. And you can see that uh, Tesla's done something else that, uh, that uh, if you look here, you can see me turning what looks like a little light bulb. It's actually the, my finger just making noises. And that's what, uh, that's what the operators use to align the uh, windshield wiper park. So let's look down here a little bit lower, <clears throat> which is something that really hasn't got anything to do with glass, but it is a cute little thing. Let's have a look at this, uh, this area right here. This is, the, um, this is where the brake and booster goes. So it goes right through here kind of slides into position like that. So what we've got here is for the, uh, for the left-hand drive, this is where the brake booster would go. So we pull that out, and let's stand back here for a second and see if we can find Waldo here. And uh, look at that, where we got the uh, ADAS unit. Um, we can also maybe park for uh, right-hand drive. We can park the, um, what do you call it in here? The brake booster on, on this side. And with a little bit of uh, struggling, I can get it in, but I'm pretty sure that they're gonna have a right and left hand uh, unit so that uh, the motor there will be able to slide in and out. The one other thing that we need to know is that this is a single layer and this is a double layer. So I expect when they move from uh, from putting the brake booster on the right hand or the left hand side for right and left hand steering, you're gonna also see a little bit of a change in that area uh, to double up the, uh, double up the, different, uh, <clears throat> the different parts on the, uh, on the dash. So let's move back here to the, um, to the back end. Now, panoramic glass is, again, not new, but this is very nicely done. We're looking at uh, the roof glass here, and this is two pieces of tempered glass. Tempered glass is a little bit different than normal glass in that there's no shards. When this thing smashes, it's going to turn into basic like, like a rock salt, but it's going to be held together because right here you can see there's one piece of glass here, then you can see this little teeny tiny slip of, uh, of plastic laminate plastic, and then you see the second layer of glass. So what you're looking at is something that's ultra strong, gives good uh, NVH, and, uh, and gives protection for the occupants because if this does roll over, it'll smash, but because it's all glued together, you'll see it all crazed, but it won't, it won't uh, allow the occupants to fly out of the vehicle. Over here, <clears throat> over here we're looking at uh, this quarter glass, and this quarter glass is also tempered glass, but it's, it, doesn't have a, it doesn't have a laminate inside. It's just, the, it's just the tempered glass. So we have a look on the inside here, and you can see that, you can see that uh, this is just merely glued to the, uh, the lay-down body side ring. So uh, right around in here, underneath where I'm putting my fingers, that's where the, the uh, butyl or urethane will go in and then they'll just push it in place and they squash it in place and it's all done. So let's, uh, let's take a look at, um, let's take a look here at the door glass. Again, this has got, uh, this is laminated. This is tempered glass, but it's laminated. So is the windshield, but this glass is not. So some of you people are familiar with the, uh, with what happened with uh, Elon, Elon Musk, when he, he kind of like uh, wanted to find out, you know, throwing balls at the uh, glass. But uh, this stuff doesn't react like that. Watch this. 
Now that was fairly dramatic, but you can see right here that <laughs> this stuff doesn't cut. It's not, it's not like the kind of glass that you'd have in your windows at home. So this is, a, this is kind of like a, a little demonstration that uh, let you know that uh, these kinds of things are safe. Uh, it's hard enough to breathe with this stupid mask. Anyway, this is why uh, I work here. I love this job. Uh, I do it for free. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I hope you had a good time. Remember to tip all those cashiers out there for, uh, for, for the job that they're doing. And uh, let's, see, uh, let's see you again tomorrow.